is the all-new Highboy KS4 Pro. It's Highboy's latest premium electric scooter that is a ton of fun to ride. The KS4 Pro features 25 miles of range, a max speed of 19 miles per hour, 10-inch puncture-resistant honeycomb tires, a powerful 500-watt motor, a dual braking system, a rear suspension system, an incredibly bright headlight, a strip of LEDs underneath the board, a smart LED display, Bluetooth connectivity, and all of this comes packed in a lightweight foldable design. The KS4 Pro here offers an excellent balance of power, performance, and range in a sleek, lightweight scooter that only weighs about 38.5 pounds. That is pretty light for a scooter like this. The KS4 Pro is a very well-rounded electric scooter. So with that said, I say before we get into this unboxing and review, we get outside because it's a very nice day and we go for a quick ride, right? Why not? Ready, set, go. When you first get the KS4 Pro, it'll arrive in a fairly large box that weighs about 45 pounds. Once you open it up, you'll find the electric scooter itself, along with an instruction manual, some tools to assemble the scooter, and the AC adapter. The good thing about the KS4 Pro is that it mostly comes fully assembled. All that you need to do is put the handlebar on and tighten it in with six screws. There's also a QR code to download the Highboy app if you want, but we'll talk more about that later. After that, just power up the scooter and you're ready to ride. It's super easy. As far as design goes, the KS4 Pro is a sleek looking electric scooter. It's it's not a scooter that's going to turn heads when you ride by or wow you with its design, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. The KS4 Pro here is aimed at commuters, and it's going to blend nicely into any type of environment that you're riding it in. On top of that, the KS4 Pro definitely feels the part of a premium electric scooter. Nothing about this thing feels cheap or like corners were cut to build it. Despite that, it only weighs 38.5 pounds, which is pretty light for an electric scooter like this. It's easy to lift up, carry around, and take with you wherever you go. It's an electric scooter that you can always have with you if you want. I've been tossing this thing in my car a lot lately to take places and it's just been great. One of the things that I really like about the KS4 Pro though is the lighting system. The lighting system definitely adds a little bit of flair to the design of the scooter. The KS4 Pro has a big bright LED up front so others will definitely know when you're out there riding. As you're seeing this thing shines incredibly far making it tough for others to miss you coming in the dark. The flare for the design of the scooter though is underneath the deck where you're standing. There's a strip of red LEDs under the there that brighten up the ground underneath you when you're riding and make the scooter pop out even more. Highboy did an awesome job blending clever safety features that add some flair to a sleek, lightweight design. Overall, the KS4 Pro is a very good looking, well-built electric scooter. Next, let's talk about the thing that everybody wants to know about, riding. How does the KS4 Pro ride out there on the streets? I have to say, this thing rides great. The experience is excellent overall. The scooter is very responsive when you hit the throttle and stopping on a dime is no problem thanks to that dual braking system. This scooter has zero issue making it to that 19 miles per hour max speed in only a few seconds. What's neat about the KS4 Pro is that it uses 10 inch puncture resistant honeycomb tires that are larger than the ones that you may typically find on other electric scooters out there. They make the ride smoother on uneven pavement and can help you eat small bumps and potholes that you may ride over. In all honesty, they might have you feeling a little daring at times. Speaking of bumps and potholes, the KS4 Pro also has a built-in rear suspension system, which is why you may have noticed the pad over the deck of the scooter flopping around in some of the clips of me riding. That's the suspension system under there moving around. This, of course, helps contribute to the smooth riding experience that the KS4 Pro delivers. As far as going up hills and inclines, this scooter has no problem going up small inclines. I rode up a few little hills and even up a street that was a straight up incline on this thing and it performed well. Highboy rates the max slope that the KS4 Pro can climb at 15 degrees and I would say that the street that I rode up was around that. While the scooter will go slower the steeper an incline is, it'll still make it up. The fun part of going up a hill though of course comes when you turn around and go down it. It is such a fun thrill. Here are some more clips of me riding around on the KS4 Pro. Now 
time to talk about battery life and range. Highboy rates the KS4 Pro at 25 miles of range on a single charge, and I would say that's around what I was able to get out of it. Of course, this all depends on how hard you push the scooter, how many hills you try to climb, and various other factors. Regardless, for me personally, just casually riding for fun, it has been hard for me to run the battery of this thing to the ground. I've had this scooter for a few weeks now, maybe two or three weeks, and the battery life has been great. I'm able to easily ride for miles at a time and make it back to my car without an issue, and for me personally, that's really what matters most at the end of the day. I know I'm definitely not going the full 20 to 25 miles, maybe I'm doing 10 or a little more, because I always have about half the battery life left after I get my fill riding. I definitely don't see the range or battery life that the scooter offers being an issue at all for commuters. You'll easily be able to go days at a time without charging this thing, especially if you commute short distances. Even if you push it and go 10 miles max one way and 10 miles back the other, I can't help but feel like you would have no issue at all making it there and back and still have a little bit of juice left to spare. And finally, the last thing for us to talk about in this review is connectivity. The KS4 Pro has built-in Bluetooth, which allows you to pair it with your phone and use the companion Highboy app to access additional features. You can Bluetooth lock and unlock the scooter, change ride modes, see remaining battery life, turn the headlight on and off, enable cruise control, and much more. It is worth noting that the app is not necessary to use this scooter. It's a nice little addition that adds more features, but it's not necessary at all to use the scooter and ride, which I think is awesome. I found the app to work well for what it is. However, I do feel like that it is definitely in need of an update to modernize it a bit. As of this review, it does feel a bit long in the tooth, but like I said before, it works well, and I guess that's what matters most at the end of the day. So if it wasn't obvious yet, I'm a big, big fan of the Highboy KS4 Pro here, but I have to say the thing that I like the most about this scooter is that it's a very well-rounded scooter, right? It's pretty much good at everything that it does. That's no exaggeration. It has excellent range, solid battery life, a very comfortable ride. You have that LED display right here with Bluetooth connectivity, and you also have that lightweight foldable design, which allows you to take this thing pretty much anywhere that you go. I've been having so much fun riding this thing around that I bought a bag for it and I bought a phone mount because I've been getting lost on my rides. So yeah, that's how much I've been enjoying this scooter here. Regardless though, if you are a commuter, if you are looking to have fun with friends by riding around the neighborhood or maybe even doing a little off-roading, I just rode here in the grass on my backyard. It's a flat backyard, granted, but it does do a great job of handling little bumps and things like that. This isn't a dedicated off-roading scooter, so it's not gonna be good for that. But if you're looking for like just straight grass and like a smooth surface underneath that, this thing's gonna be great. So at the end of the day, if you want a well-rounded, versatile scooter, the KS4 Pro is gonna be the way to go. At the end of the day, I'm a big, big fan of the Highboy KS4 Pro here. It just has an excellent balance of power, performance, and range that make it an awesome scooter that anyone will enjoy, from commuters to casual riders and everyone in between. Sometimes, you know, it's just fun to get outside, push the throttle down, and experience the rush that comes along with riding an electric scooter. I especially love the fact that this thing is pretty lightweight and super easy to carry around. That's something I know commuters especially will appreciate as well. If you're in the market for a new electric scooter or you want to upgrade the current one that you have, the KS4 Pro here is a fantastic option that should be near or at the top of your list. This thing is really sweet. Anywho, that's about it for this video, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did and you liked what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. Also, don't forget to follow at Race Trassus on Twitter and Instagram for much more. Until the next one, I will catch you guys later. Peace.